What is up? What's going on? My name is Arvind Rob Krishna, and today we're going to be sketching a tough looking truck. Or I'm hoping it's going to be tough looking. <laughs> so we're going to start with a Sharpie marker. I'm going to draw in my center line here, somewhat of a center line. And the paper that I'm using is Hammer Mill. It's a uh, Hammer Mill, I believe it's a 28 pound. It is a ultra smooth surface it's I think got a, a classification I think of a 90 I think it's like 96 percent or something like that as far as the how bright and, and white the page is but really nice paper and it's for laser it's like laser copying paper so they have that smooth surface like I mentioned before uh, really nice uh, as you're using sharpie markers on it it just glides in really nice and smooth provided that you've done all your uh, exercises with drawing lines and things like that so so this is just really an exercise of just practice I'm not trying to make any of this stuff perfect though practice does indeed make perfect <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to be splitting the truck in half here and then as I just start to detail out things like the rear view or the side view mirrors here I just draw that on the other side so this is really training my eyes to see along the center line and just start to see how I can replicate my shapes and make them exactly the same on each side. It's not going to be perfect, but but that's what you're going to strive for. You're just going to see how well can you split it and just observe the distances between each feature of your car or your truck or whatever it is that you're going to be doing and making sure that you're, you're keeping that same shape on the other side or just making sure that uh, everything is uh, symmetrical about that center line. All right, so I, what I've done is I've drawn the the bulky. Now trucks are, are supposed to be strong. They're supposed to be tough. And so this is just an F one fifty. I'm just drawing what there is existing today. But uh, some of the form language when you look at or observe these trucks is that they're not supposed to be sleek like sports cars. They're supposed to be tough. They're supposed to be large. They're supposed to have this wide and tall stance and big tires because obviously the tires have to be, uh, everything has to be functional, right? The truck has to have a towing, uh, an X amount of towing capacity. It's got to have uh, the the strength to be able to uh, tow large uh, objects behind it and it's got to be able to go over rough terrain nobody wants a uh, a truck that looks like it's not strong enough or not I hate to say it manly enough maybe uh, but that's what a truck is it, it has a, a language and it meets certain things to people and people want to be able to have a, a truck uh, that matches what it is that they have in their head as far as what they define a truck to be. And so drawing a truck or, or designing a truck is, is sometimes really, it's really difficult because you're in the, you're sort of in the mode of, of wanting to try something different, but you can't be too different because you want to maintain uh, the level of the definition of what a truck means to people. Uh, so that said, as you're drawing, you're designing, and you're looking at design elements, uh, the main form factor for these trucks is to maintain uh, the size and the, the proportions, the relationships of, of uh, all these design elements uh, that are coming together to communicate to the audience that this truck is indeed uh, tough. That's why you see in some of these commercials way back, you have the commercials from the OEMs that say built tough like a truck, right? So that appeals to the demographic. It appeals to people who are, who've got, um, you know, in the construction work 
construction companies, they want a truck that is tough, that, that can haul a lot of things. It can do the things that uh, it's utilitarian and it can be subject to abuse. It's not meant to be pretty. It's meant to be tough. It's meant to be durable. It's meant to be uh, able to be taking a lot of abuse. All right, so all I'm doing here is just adding some graphical elements of the underpinnings of the of the truck and then now I'm just going to add a little bit of the shadow here for the tires the cast shadow of the lights coming from the uh, top left hand side that's top left hand side from where I'm drawing but to the truck it's like the top right hand side so here I'm just indicating the tire I'm just adding a little bit of, of shading and detail once again everything is very quick by the way this is this video is sped up 200 percent so it's going twice as fast as I normally would be drawing so this is coming together here now I'm just going to add some details and just indicate some details here where the headlamps are this is always fun. I think that as we, I'll be sharing some videos later in the future just about technique, about indicating details and and that sort of thing and how that really helps to communicate the overall shape without having to draw every uh, single detail related to a lamp, a headlamp or, or something like that. So as we're going to expand on not just automotive stuff but just pretty much everything anything we can think of uh, this is really about helping you observe how do you observe the details and observe objects around you I think it needs to be understood that drawing is really an intellectual process it helps you to observe it helps you to create and solve problems and Next, uh, as, as we start to go into creating some more uh, podcasts, I'm going to be touching on this subject on, on how this is really going to help, how drawing is really going to help you in creative problem solving. So there's more of a goal than just to be able to draw trucks or just to be able to draw in general. There's going to be a purpose for all this, and this purpose is applicable to anybody. It doesn't matter whether you're an artist or an engineer or... Uh, working at a uh, at a company on a professional level so hope you enjoyed this this pretty much wraps it up I hope you like the truck sketch yeah as always send me some comments and we'll see you next time on driven to draw have a good one so if you're enjoying all the content you're seeing so far and you want to learn more about creativity being creative then be sure to subscribe subscribe take it Learn, create, click on it, subscribe, do it, now, click on it, click, so what are you waiting for, subscribe, I tried, I tried, subscribe.